Well, hello and welcome to Knife Delights and looky, looky what we got on the table today. This is one of those long sought after knives like for me, uh, not really, not so much a grail knife, maybe half a grail knife. I don't know. This is the Buck 120 General and I've been wanting to get one for quite a while and I finally pulled the trigger and got one ordered and it just arrived the other day and I am just... Oh, I'm just tickled pink to get this wonderful, wonderful knife. So yes, this is another one of those wonderful made in the USA forever warranty knives by Buck Knives and the 120 General. Well, it was one of Buck's original or their one of the models, the first six models that uh, they went into production with in 1961. And in 1961, that's kind of when they you know, incorporated and uh, I guess you would say really started making production knives. Um, I'll be getting more into that topic here, uh, hopefully in a couple weeks. I plan on doing a video on their first six knives, uh, fixed blade knives that they did. So this, uh, this pattern goes back to at least 1961. So as we look at it here, um, look at this long blade. Look at that long blade. The blade is seven and three quarter inches long or 18.7 centimeters. And this is out of Buck's uh, standard 420HC stainless steel. And we have a blade thickness. Look at that blade stock there. We have a blade thickness of 0.175 inches and one foot overall length. That's right, 12 inches overall length and it comes in at 8.3 ounces or 235.3 grams. Now on this, the standard production model here, we have this black phenolic uh, with the aluminum pommel and guard. Now originally, when these first came out in 1961, they may have had a white handle. And I can't remember the name of that uh, uh, material they were using but they only used it for a short time because they got complaints when it was, when it was bitter cold uh, the handle material would crack so I would just say if you see a 120 general and you see some sort of a white handle on it boy you might want to snag that up because I think they're pretty rare pretty rare so let's just uh, see what Buck has to say about this knife off of their website it says the long blade enhances the exquisite appearance while creating a hunting knife that makes deboning a lot simpler. Exclusive, elite, and luxurious, the General remains an exceptional choice for a hunting knife or simply as a collectible. Either way, it is a conversation starter. And they've got that right because one of the conversations that you can start is that this is the knife that was, uh, well, it's called the Scream Knife. So for any of you movie aficionados, remember the old uh, slicer movie Scream? Why, this was the knife model. The Buck 120 was the knife in that movie. So it's often referred to as the Scream knife. So what is the price on this? Well, it's right at $100. Uh, on the discount sites, I happened to order this from SMKW. I think it was $99.99. Uh, checking the Buck website, the standard production model uh, is not available through Buck. However, they do have a uh, upgraded version of it. So, as you can see on the Buck website, they have the uh, version available with uh, S35VN steel. And it you can get the handle in green micarta, cocobolo, or... I think just the black phenolic. Well, it looks like there's uh, three different colors available. I'm trying to press. Okay. Anyway, three different colors available. Um, and it is, uh, you can and have it engraved, I believe. Yep, you can have it personalized. But uh, with the upgraded steel and the upgraded handle material, you're looking at a price tag of $219.99 for. So $220 for the upgraded version. However, check your discount uh, website, knife websites, because I think you can still find the basic 420HC model there. 
so as I often do, I check, uh, you know, customer reviews on different knife products. And on this one, it sure had a lot of great reviews. There's many stories of people using the 120 for deer processing. And a lot of people liked it just for a general uh, camp knife. Nice knife to have in camp. And I can see where it's a nice uh, uh, boning knife. We got this wonderful, wonderful clip blade here. And you can see the swedging on top. Double-sided swedge. Right there, we have this wonderful fuller. Look at how long that fuller is. Let's just check that out. We got a little over two and or about a two and a half inch fuller on that. And of course, you've got your choil here. This knife is uh, got a large handle to it. So again, I wear you know large extra large gloves. So I got four fingers. I still got room to spare. So. Um, I always get a lot of comments from uh, guys saying, hey, you know, I got them great big hands and I need a, a knife with a big handle to it. Well, you know, if you got the big meaty hands, why, I think you got plenty of handle here. Um, also, as with their uh, 100 series knives here, you got the, they're not highly ampl uh, amplified, but uh, gentle little finger grooves there. So it provides a very good grip. Okay, uh, before we move on here, let's take a look at the sheath. It's pretty much your standard buck sheath here with this wraparound flap to it here. And it uh, does have the model number stamped in the in the back side. And I believe that the sheath is imported, yes. Uh, this one, the sheath is made in Mexico. So some of their sheaths are made in Mexico. On some of their uh, higher end models, sometimes even the sheath is made in the USA, which makes it really nice. Now, I can't do this, having this nice, great, big old fixed blade, without doing some sort of a comparison. So, I got my old trusty 119 Special out. And as most people are familiar with the 119, and we can just kind of get a size comparison there. You lay them side by side there, and uh, look at the difference in the blade length. See there, and we'll look at that blade thickness. Looks like it almost has the same blade thickness, doesn't it? Okay, so that's what it looks like against the 119, but hey, we're not done yet. You know I had to bring it out. You know I had to bring it out. The Allen Shaw Memorial Buck 124. Oh my goodness. Let's lay that down there. Now, obviously, the blade looks to be slightly longer, but it is not near as wide of a blade. This has a nice big blade. They both do have the hollow grind, as does the 119. Bucks just traditionally does a hollow grind on their knives these days. And we'll look at blade thickness here. And it looks like the 124 has slightly thicker uh, blade to it doesn't it so but hey I just <laughs> I'm gonna get this knife out every chance I get thanks again everybody for everybody that helped contribute to this uh, memorial knife here the buck 124 well if you can't tell I'm awful excited to have this addition to my buck knife collection I fully intend on getting some more buck knife videos out and uh, hopefully I got some more good stuff coming to you make sure and check out my buck knives playlist down here in the lower right hand corner please smash that subscribe button and until next time have a very delightful day